What's up everybody? It's Rhino here. I am at Art Smith's Homecoming at Disney Springs. Only been open a little bit now, but uh, I'm gonna go meet Pete, Craig, and Oliver inside and we are gonna have some lunch here today. We'll see how good it is. I've only heard good things, so let's hope it holds up. Yum, hush puppies. First time I've ever had them, so I didn't really know what to expect, and I can't really compare them to other hush puppies, but I like them. They've got a nice crispy outside. Um, I think they've uh, seasoned it with a little bit of chili inside as well, which I don't think is the norm with a regular deviled egg. Um, so yeah, they have a little bit of a kick to them and complemented very well with that um, sweet chili sauce. So yeah, I'm gonna finish these off. This is the Jasper board. It's got ham. Just a pile of shaved ham, as if you were getting it from a deli. Some country sausage, bread and uh, butter pickle chips, and of course the crown resistance. The pimento cheese, which should be a lot better than it is, but I mean it's, it's enjoyable. It's definitely not the most, I'm not getting that southern vibe from it yet. Hopefully with my fried catfish that's coming later. That'd be great. I had the fried green tomatoes and um, they're good. They're pretty good. I, I, I do think that I ordered the best of the appetizers. Um, it is not the best. I've had some amazing fried green tomatoes. However, it is good. Like it's definitely worth, if I came here again, I would get that again. So it's very good. Um, I, had, I had the, uh, the devil decks and I found them to be perfectly average, um, which is my opinion of everything on this table, with the exception of the fried grain tomatoes. So they all were very good. It's not, it's, none of it's bad. It's just not exceptional. Chicken and donuts. Um, yeah, it sounded weird on the menu, and honestly, it's a good combination. I suppose it's like chicken and waffles, which I know is a favorite in America. Um, the chicken itself is very, very good. It's, uh, yeah, it's, I know I always say this about the meat, but it's a very quality, uh, it's a good quality piece of meat there. What's most impressive about it though, I'd say, is the breading around the outside. Yeah. It's really light and crispy. And I said this previously when we were going out live on Facebook, but um, it's light as well. It doesn't taste oily. So when you chewing away on it, you don't get that like oily, greasy, yeah, greasy texture going on in your mouth. So um, very, very impressed with it. When you put the syrup on it, it improves it tenfold and it's already good. So this was, uh, say $25? $25. The chicken's good, is it $25 good? I don't know, but yeah, I'm happy with it so far. Well, I got the fried catfish, as I may or may not have said before, I don't remember anything anymore. Um, it's mediocre. So it's honestly, I would, the, the grits that come with it are fantastic. They're delicious. The greens here are excellent. The catfish itself, I've had better catfish at Cracker Barrel. Um, it's, it's really, it's not, it's not great. So I make a better fried catfish at home and I'm mediocre at cooking. So um, it's, with hot sauce, it becomes fantastic. But, um, you know, that's because all I can taste is the hot sauce now. But, very disappointing. I got the steak salad. It is $22. And they asked, how you want your steak cooked? I said, medium. This looks like gray was the only option and it tastes like what it looks like. Um, and the salad is like drenched in this thing, so it's all a little wet. I don't think this is a $22 salad at all. So maybe steer clear of the salads. However, the mac and cheese, the side of mac and cheese I got was delicious. It had a little bit of a crust, a little skin on the outside, which is always good and nice and hot and spiral shaped, but that was pretty good. Um, so I'd recommend that and I'd still go with the fried green tomato. So while Oliver got the fried chicken and 
donuts, I just got the fried chicken, the signature dish. Um, comes with a creamy mashed potato and a cheese cheese biscuit. And I will tell you, it is excellent. $26, so it's kind of expensive. But, um, as Oliver said, really well done coating. It's light, doesn't feel greasy, really flavorful. Chicken's very, uh, very tender, very juicy, very moist. Um, so these seem to be the dishes to get. The fried chicken is definitely a winner. So is Rhino's mac and cheese is very, very good. So this, this I give a, a good mark to. I got the moonshine cake and it is real good. Uh, this is definitely the best part of the meal for me. Um, you can taste the moonshine in here. It's kind of like a rum cake. That's why I said rum cake before, but um, it's very soaked in there and it's served on top of this fruity sauce that I really like with a delicious scoop of vanilla ice cream. So I would highly recommend this. Tell me about your chocolate cake. Um, it's quite good. Um, uh, there it is, right over the spoke. It's quite good. Um, so is the ice cream, the vanilla ice cream, surprisingly. It's really good. It tastes like that like Dairy Queen soft serve. It's got that flavor to it. It's really good. Okay, so we just left the restaurant and what's the consensus here? Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I gave this around a 7. I uh, thought a lot of the food was mediocre. Uh, the fried chicken uh, and the uh, chocolate cake I had for dessert, very, very good. But a lot of the other dishes just seem to fall short. So I would say if you're a fan of fried chicken and chocolate cake, this is a great place to come. But also keep in mind that for four people, we had, all four of us had appetizers, all four had a main course and two desserts, no alcohol. It was $220 before the Tables in Wonderland discount. So we're talking about $55 a person for, de for lunch. A lot, uh, a lot for uh, mediocrity. So you make the choice. Let us know what you think in the comment section.